Hello and welcome to another episode of Games with Zane. We are playing Stellaris as the Zelm Empire. Got that completely wrong. The Zelven Imperium. Woo! Don't know what I'm playing. Ah, uh, we were trying to build up our military against these guys because they are just not friendly, even though we would like to be. Their fleet power is slightly stronger than ours. So we are attempting to uh, build more corvettes for cheaper right now. We have finally found a new planet that we could potentially colonize in a minute. I say in a minute, it'll probably be three episodes before we're able to colonize that. But we will be able to eventually. But now we are able to produce corvettes for much cheaper. We are concerned about their borders here. We got someone is unemployed. Why are you unemployed not on the food? That's silly. Build a farm. It's cheap, it gets us unity. We could gain a little bit more unity by building one more uh, robot. Not exactly sure where. We prefer to build them on mines for their mining operations. And that planet's almost full. What is this? This one has tile blocker. Wandering forest reserve, dense jungle, dense jungle. Okay. Well, that is interesting. It allows for increased society research, but only in these two tiles. But we may try to exploit that. Here we go. We can build shortly. We'll be able to build another robot there to increase our mining capacity. And that will also make the science faction happy. By that time we will be able to build another corvette, or queue up another corvette. What's the habitability? 70? Alright. Let's queue up another corvette. We will probably take them all the way up to 20. That's close. It's close there, too. Ah, uh, more Corvettes. Where are we at? 13? We need 7 more. Then if that's not enough, we are back to being equivalent. I'm sure they are still a little above us. We're gonna go all the way to 20, just to be able to maybe fend them off. Once we do that, let's look at our ship designer. Are there other things that we can do yet? We have not been researching any military tech. So we basically just have basic corvettes. You can research it. You can research it as well. It's uh, more Corvettes. There's just, we need three more. Gas Giant Ship. Active scans of Thobbit 3 have picked up what appears to be a large ship deep inside the atmosphere of the Gas Giant. Judging by nearby debris, there have been several failed attempts to salvage this derelict in the past. Any ship strong enough to withstand such crushing gravity must be a magnificent prize. And science officer Dan has proposed a salvage project of our own. Bring it up, whatever it is. If it is too great, we'll bring it up, whatever it is. 
uh, you should be able to do it. Factory study. Should track it and track it, and we can go to that one. We've got lots of things to work with. You research the project and then continue surveying the system. Where's that other project? The old factory study. Go to. It's on our home planet. Our home system. So yay, the... Ooh, wow, we're getting lots of influence now. Because uh, our science faction is super happy. Well, they're not super happy. I think they're super happy because they are outputting a lot of influence. So we got a solar sailor. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around... Yeah, okay. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture and appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, most likely a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering choices. We get a little bit of engineering. Four months remain, two there, so we'll be able to build another science ship. And then the heritage sites, they cost two, two energy maintenance. Okay, we can get another Corvette. We now need two. Their fleet power is superior again, even though we are approaching the, uh, the max. This is research is done. Looks like here we have gotten several. Get Sentinel point defense. Let's uh, let's definitely get the shields. Yeah, we need shields on our corvettes, or they will basically just be sitting ducks. Someone is unemployed. Where are you unemployed? Right there. You, we basically don't have the money to build anything. Why are you unemployed if there are open places? Did you start on a place that was not previously blocked? Uh, okay. Science ship needs things to do. It says it's in progress. That's because that's not you. That's you. Level three, level four, okay. You can, uh, in surveying there, and there, there, and there, and there. How about that? This area appears pretty lucrative, especially on minerals. Is getting any closer? I can't really tell. In a masterful display of engineering, the team under science officer Yidden has managed to gently raise the Dilrex ship on Thabit 3 to the gas giant's upper atmosphere. Despite its age, the ancient cruiser is, remark is in remarkably good condition. We have restored power to its system. No trace of the original crew remains. But we have brought over our own and commissioned the ship to our fleet. That's nice. He gains experience. And we now have... Is this a single cruiser? Nice. Derelict cruiser class. That is helpful. You should move to join up with them. That puts us over the limit. Uh, and we are now equivalent. Should 
Ship maintenance. So we're good. Ship maintenance. Okay. All right. On Panasu Prime, let's build. We don't have it yet. We are researching it. It's almost done. Let's move here. Build a mining station. We are approaching our limit on our energy, so we should probably uh, build some more energy stations. One other thing we should do is build a new colony to go here. Excuse me, let's, uh, let's take a look. So we've got lots of mining here. Good place for robots. So we have built the Heritage Station. Uh, Frontier Clinic Biolab gives us additional society. With tile blocker remover. Let's uh let's go with the bio lab. The spectral clockwork. A study of pulsars seems to be an endless source of insights for our scientists, but rarely exhibit any sign of overly dangerous phenomena. This makes the recent reports on okay all the more concerning. An initial scan revealed that the pulsar, in addition to its regular electromagnetic beam, is emitting a separate beam of a limited wavelength which is only visible in the same system at shorter and shorter intervals. According to initial calculations, the interval between these pulses will reach zero in approximately 40 years. What occurs when what occurs then is open to speculation, but the lack of explanations for the pulse has instilled an almost superstitious fear in those who studied it. Uh, we will have answers eventually. We're looking to save up for another colony. What were their ethics? Spiritualist. That's it, okay. You can research that. Instructions done, we should have you build another mining station. We'll be able to grab even more of these next. Silicon life forms. Some kind of burrowing silicon life, silicon based life from. Okay, some kind of burrowing silicon based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Thabit 2C. As best we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks. And there is evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable material, material, minerals to the surface. Very nice. What are these? The Tomb World, Savannah World. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and research it. And 
And why don't you now build the mining stations? That drops us back to almost zero. We'll get there. Keeps that one busy for a minute. And here we go. We can adopt discovery. What does this allow us? Uh, increased happiness on all pops. Yeah. Discovery. Anomaly, f anomaly fail risk reduced. In research points equal to a tenth our monthly gain when surveying planets. Oh, wow. That would speed that up incredibly. Uh, one other thing we could do is get another science ship out and just have it uh, assist research on our home planet. How about we do that after we send the colony out? Volton, Voltum Observatory. An ancient Voltum Observatory has been found on the surface of Beer 4. The Beer system is fairly distant from the region of space where the Voltum originated. And this facility appears to have been primarily used for the observation of their own stars. We have gone over the observatory's surviving data. There are no clues as to exactly what the Valtaum were searching for in their observations. Interesting. One scientist, level three or higher, I am certain that you are level... Th what? I did the wrong one. I'm certain that you are level three. Oh, that's level five. Okay. So we should track this as well. How close are you to level 5 and how old are you? 54. What's this? Resource storage full. Wow. Wow. We've got enough influence, huh? Uh, so with that, why don't we issue some edicts then? Let's take a look. Uh, edict list. Infrastructure projects that would reduce uh, building costs, education campaigns, happiness, land of opportunity. So how about uh, we do propaganda broadcasts and infrastructure projects? And why not propaganda broadcasts? Just making everybody a little bit happier. Faction has been founded. New faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape. Yep, uh, National Wealth Lobby. Let's take a look at them. What do they like? Solid liquidity. Have some storage. Uh, one strategic resource, keep the peace. They want prosperity focus, nonviolent. Okay. Uh, their benefits, I feel like, have gone down. So the only thing left they want is uh, research agreements. We need to find more aliens to be able to do that. Because these guys aren't going to do a research with us. There are, wait, everything is equivalent, but they're ranked as superior? That's a little odd. What are they superior at? Uh, you two can merge. Twenty two months before we can get some shields. Are we 
yeah, almost there. Get our colony ship out. So there we go. Let's get that going. And then getting another scientist out would be good. Where do we want to land here? At Larbo. I guess this is going to be the best place that we are initially given. We're going to have to put some farms on there, but that's really not that big a deal. It gives us unity. That continues to inch towards this. So let's get another scientist queued up. We use it just to help with research on our home planet. Let's look at the surface here. There are things that we can build to upgrade. Let's, uh, it is mostly energy. I think doing the investment to upgrade those is probably wise. getting another source of farming and mining would also be useful. So I guess while we have uh, lovely, we've got a colony ship. We will send you here. We'll colonize and place you right there. Larbo Prime. Larbo Prime's got lots of stuff around it to mine. Let's head back to Panasso Prime and continue doing upgrades. Then we will build a mining network there. Then shortly after that we will build so we've got a building spree going on Panasu Prime, the hydroponics farm. There is the hydroponics farm. We should probably save this for a unique building. We've got another science ship. That's nice. Let's uh, grab anomaly discovery chance. So this anomaly fail. Let's just uh, go with the the youngest. Where are you at? Right there. And you research projects. No, that's not what I want. Assist research. There we go. We have completed technology, a bio lab. Let's do some new research. Uh, none of these match them. The naval capacity could help us, but then again, so could the defoliants. It's jungle. This one is cheaper. Let's go for that. And with our new technology, we will clearly want some more technology. Uh, 
with it we definitely need the fusion reactor I think so now let's look at our ship designer so we have our corvettes and they are going to need some deflectors I don't think that's gonna cut it oh it does wow Okay, we will save that. And how much would it cost us to upgrade? 300. Lovely. Someone has leveled up. Or governor. It'd be nice if this would reach all the way out here this planet they've got another one out here too dang you research it We've got lots of building on Panasu Prime happening. One other thing that we can do is probably put on an edict that costs uh, monthly. So glancing hit while approaching Carenza 1, the ISS Benth the Firm suddenly received a glancing hit by passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old and based on their trajectory they appeared to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today. The rounds we have recovered are of an ancient design despite their incredible are of an advanced design despite their incredible age. Engineering research. We're waiting to upgrade our fleet. Yeah, this is a lucrative area. But nothing useful over here yet. Three, there we go. We can do the upgrade now. Very nice. Is there anything else that we can build on Panasu Prime? This can be up upgraded, so can those. Let's uh, upgrade this first. Increase our Unity output. Then we will see about making other buildings elsewhere. And doing other upgrades. Someone is unemployed. A faction founded. New faction, Democratic Rights Coalition. Okay. They are already happy. That's nice. So glad we could appease them. Anti autocratic. Free movement. Reproductive freedoms. And anti caste. Wonderful. See, I wonder if this is divided by all factions. There is a set number. I don't know. That's not what that says. Uh, multiplied by support level. So yeah, basically. As... Hmm. Yes, so there's 11 and 11. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Uh, we've got a science ship that needs instructions. Let's send you across. Wow, there's 14 minerals there. That one. There we go.
Okay. And someone is unemployed here. What's food looking like? Food is low, so why don't you build a farm? Larbo is almost done. And in two months, we'll be able to upgrade this. All right. So we've got forest research. We've learned a great deal by living in proximity of the wandering forests on Porpoise Prime. Some enterprising colonists have even built homes in the treetops of some of the larger specimens. Following the forests around as they migrate across the planet, some of the foremost biologists in the Zelvin Imperium I've spent time studying these unique trees. Excellent. Society research. Lovely. I think that is where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. We will see you in the next episode.